Hey everybody, it's Mergul, and today I'm on the PTR once again to explain the Netherlight Crucible, which is very much clarified now, so hopefully this makes a lot more sense this time around. Okay? Anyways, the way it works is obviously you had these relics, right? And you had to get levels in your concordance to unlock relic traits for these this talent tree, I guess. And this no longer has ranks, which didn't make a lot of sense that it did. Because when you had this, it said rank 1 of 3, you clicked at this one, rank 2 of 3, and then rank 3 of 3. So it was just confusing because it was on different pages, so it sounded like you had rank 1 of 3 on this page. Just very much confusing. Now it's just a passive thing, so that's good. Also, as for the relics themselves, you can't double dip, essentially, right? Let's say you get your best in slot trait relic. Your best in slot trait will never be on this final tier, no matter what. So you can't get your best in slot trait two times per relic. You can get your best in slot trait and then maybe your second best in slot trait on this bottom level, which could be really good, but you will never double dip. Meaning, if you get your absolute worst relic possible, you may still get your best in slot trait from that relic. And I know that, you know, that's not optimal, but it's actually really good for some classes. Let's say, I think Frost DK. I think Frost DK is one of the classes that's willing to drop like 15 to 20 item levels on a relic just to get their best in slot trait because it's so important for them. But for my class, let's say, the best in slot trait and the second and third you know, are pretty close. So if I could get best in slot trait and second best in slot trait, whew, I'm golden. That's perfect for me. <laughs> but I, again, there are classes out there that are willing to drop massive item levels just to get best in slot trait. So getting your worst trait possible could mean you could still get your best in slot trait, which is really nice. Now, they also have ranks on these. So the ranks make sense now. Uh, they didn't explain before what levels these unlocked, <laughs> so uh, it's nice that you know. I assume they would eventually put something, but yeah, before it didn't. And uh, anyways, so this unlocks at rank 60, 63, 66, 7, no, 69, 72, and then 75. So for perspective, a lot of people are at rank 60 right now. This is uh, 9 concordance. And then rank 63 is 12 concordance. There's a couple of people out there. Not very many, but there are a couple of people out there. <laughs> and then rank 15. I'm not sure how many are out there. I'm sure there's at least one or two, but there are not many people at 15 concordance right now. Uh, this is very, very uh, far. It's quite a bit, right? But there are, I think, a couple people out there that still even have this. So, um... Anyways, this is, you know, a bit of a grind. Um, rank 75 being the max required. Now, again, for perspective, that's 943 billion artifact power. Um, the weekly cash of a 15 key, right? Let's say you did a 15 key. The weekly cash with max artifact knowledge, which won't happen for... 15 weeks after 7.3 comes out would provide you with 31 billion artifact power. So it would take 30 of those pretty much to get to rank 75. And that's 15 weeks after 7.3 has gone live. Now, of course, you're going to be getting artifact knowledge every week um, coming up to that point, right? I could see mains getting this rank probably about I want to see in the range of maybe 12 to 13 weeks after 7.3 comes live uh, because we're going to be getting artifact knowledge very quickly you know and it's going to be scaling up quite fast uh, and people are obviously going to be doing stuff on their mains but uh, even then you know it's quite a grind and uh you won't be able to really put artifact power into your off specs for a while, especially if you're wanting to unlock these. Like, 
I know getting best in slot traits for me can be like 20 to 30k DPS increase, so um, to be competitive, right, you can't really change specs. You gotta commit for this because you want to, um, you know, if you want to be in your best position, uh, you gotta get that 24 concordance as soon as possible. Um, maybe not so much for healers and tanks. I, you know, I don't think it's as important for them. Like, I mean, not to say that it isn't, right? If you're just a main healer and you don't do anything else, obviously just, you know, fuel this baby. But, you know, DPS, I think it's more you need like those slight edges. Healers and tanks can get by kind of without it. Uh, that's why, like, you know, top tier guilds, they gear their DPS more than anything. I know that a couple guilds, they, they only give gear to DPS at the beginning because DPS kill bosses is the way they put it. But, um, yeah, that's just, that's a perspective for you. I could see people really hitting this realistically in 12 to 13 weeks after 7.3 has gone live. And those are the people that play a lot. Obviously, if you're kind of casual, probably not that fast more in the range of like 20 20 ish weeks um but there you go i hope that explains it a little more again the quick summary of it at once more best in slot relic will never like if you have the trait will never be on the bottom tier you could have your worst trait and still possibly get best in slot trait kind of nice um this is five item levels on your weapon for each relic. So you're going to get a 15 item level bonus as soon as you've unlocked this, which most people will do immediately as the Netherlight Crucible comes live, which is two weeks after 7-3. One more thing. I don't think I mentioned it. Netherlight Crucible and almost all Argus content is account wide. So at least you won't have to do this all over once again on your alts. That being said, alts are going to struggle to get rank 75 um, unless they're played very, very much like a main. So not really an alt, rather second main. Uh, 75 will take some time, even at rank 55 artifact knowledge. Quite a grind. Bit grindy, but you know, great grind, great rewards, I guess. The the DPS increase for, you know, traits can be immense for Warlocks and other classes, I know for sure. Um, traits can make a big difference. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you again real soon. If you have any questions, just let me know. Bye-bye.